Operalia, one of the most prestigious opera competitions in the world, stopped in Cape Town, South Africa. The annual contest, which began October 30th and ran through November 5th, was created by Spanish tenor Placido Domingo 30 years ago. It features 34 contestants selected from an initial pool of about 800 singers. Five of them are from South Africa. In a studio at the Cape Town Opera House, soprano Mbuelo Yende is rehearsing Mozart and Wagner. Wearing a floral dress, her hand waves in front of her body to the rhythm of the melody as her powerful vibrato rings out. At 32, Yende already has an established career, but the contest offers important exposure. It offers an opportunity to be spotted without having to fly around the world. This competition would mean that I am trying to broaden my horizons even more. So I am trying to um, audition, or I'm trying to appeal to much, a much bigger audience than the one that I'm used to in Frankfurt. Another contestant followed her into the studio. Sifokazi Moteno, a 31-year-old mezzo from the southeastern city of Kaberha, now based in New York. Um, my favorite thing about opera singing, it's storytelling, um, creating art, you know, because it's not just about standing on stage and just singing. We tell a story, we communicate with the audience, we, you get to connect with the audience. It's not just about delivering there's, there should be a connection between like a performer and the audience. By the time Maranti gave up a job in human resources to chase his opera dream. He had to tell his parents he would not be able to support them for a while, and sometimes went days without a meal while trying to secure grants to fund his studies. But he doesn't regret taking the plunge for a second. So it was a lot of stress going into it, but, but on the other flip side of it, at the same time, even though I was very I was struggling very much. I was happy. Operalia was founded in 1993 and has previously been held in cities like Paris, London, Tokyo, Los Angeles, and Moscow. Past winners have included Pretty Yende from South Africa, who sang at the coronation of Britain's King Charles III in 2023.